you've used Blue Kit before, you already know how valuable game reports can be for tracking student progress. But now, in addition to the completely revised homework reports, both the history page and your game reports have received a major overhaul, giving you clearer insights, richer data, and even easier ways to support every student. Let's take a look. First, you can still access reports right after any live game by clicking the View Report button up in the top right-hand corner. But you can also view all of your past games by clicking on the History tab on the left side of your dashboard. The new History page gives you a clean, organized list of all of your previous games, including the game mode, question set title, number of players, and the date that this game was played. You can now filter your history by any date range or take bulk actions like deleting old reports to keep things tidy. Once you've found the game that you want, click on it to open the all new reports page. This is where things get powerful. Up at the top, you'll see a class performance summary showing your group's overall performance, their score, total correct and incorrect answers, number of players, and total questions answered. And if you're a Blue Kit Plus user, you can also download an even more robust report in the form of a spreadsheet, perfect for analyzing data in a separate tool or integrating into your school's LMS. Below that summary, you'll find the leaderboard section showing player rankings, accuracy, correct and incorrect counts, and other game-specific stats. You can even sort this leaderboard by any of the different column headers. But the best part comes next. If you're using Bluekit Plus, you can scroll a little bit further down to see a detailed question breakdown. Here you can see how your class did with each individual question including which questions had the highest correct percentages. And like I mentioned, when you click on any of these questions, you can see even more details like the answer distribution and who answered them incorrectly. And for those typing answer questions, you can see exactly what they typed. It doesn't stop there. Plus users can even open the player breakdown for any student by clicking on their name in the leaderboard. This brings up a personalized summary showing their accuracy, total correct and incorrect answers, total questions answered, and average response time. Plus users can even download individual student reports for even greater insight. Scroll down on that player report and you'll see each of the questions that they answered organized by correct and incorrect responses. You can sort and click into each one to see exactly how they performed and even see if they answered it multiple times, what their response was for each attempt. These updates make it easier than ever to pinpoint what's working, what needs review, and how to tailor your instruction for each learner. Just note that the older game modes or past games that you've played might not show all of the new data yet, but any current games or future games that you play with these new ones will show these full reports. If you want to learn more about using your reports to create targeted question sets that strengthen your review lessons, check out this playlist right here. And to see how reports work for homework and assignments, click on this video next. And of course, for any in-depth overviews about all of our game modes, check out the playlist right below that. We can't wait to see you using the new reports, and we can't wait to see you in the next video.